right, there, there's one more thing I want to quick talk about today. I saw this Reddit post that said Masahiro Sakurai was asked about the future of Smash. I quickly looked at the, the link here, which leads to the Siliconera uh, article, and they talked about it. They talked about the future of Smash with Sakurai, and he gave some talking points. I want to cover it and just discuss it really quick and talk about the future of Smash. What I would like, what is feasible, what should happen, etc. So, uh, I'm not going to read the article, but there are some talking points. Here we go. Some highlights from the Famitsu interview. I am not thinking of a sequel. I am not thinking of it every time. However, I can't say with certainly that this would be the end of Smash. 100%. I think Sakurai just wanted to make the best you know smash ultimate that he could he grabbed what it was it like 78 89 fighters or whatever and grabbed everyone in sora being the final one being the most you know the most probably pressing one that could the fans wanted it the most but also the most troublesome one in terms of rights you know disney and everything else so you know he has played the game he's balanced it he's you know since the first game he loves kirby he put him in there as like the main guy to uh you know fix everything it was amazing so it, you know, it makes sense that he would focus solely on just Smash and not think of a sequel. And he is aware that say that, hey, this cannot be the end. This is not the end, even though he's not thinking of it. But he knows this franchise, this IP, so huge, so huge. It's going to continue in one form or another. What's next? I need to think whether I must release a Smash game or not, even if I have to do something that would disappoint users. Once again, that is that supply and demand thing. This game, Ultimate, has been out for a quite a while now. So if they want to come out with another one, I think they're going to have to wait three to four years. Minimum, minimum. Maximum, maybe five years for a new one to come out. Maybe even announce it two years from now or something like that. But like he said, there is a demand for it. People are going to get tired of this one, you know. That's just the nature of things, you know, things you just move on and go on to new and better things. So if you want to keep Smash in the people's view, if you want to keep the IP fresh, new characters are coming out every single day. New, you know, fresh new characters from all these IPs. So, you know, you want to put them in, but you're already done with Smash. So if they come out with a new one, they need, you know, to <laughs> to reduce the amount of disappointment people might have, you know, you know, because you're always going to be comparing this game to melee you're going to be comparing it to brawl you're going to be comparing it to ultimate this new one i hope they work on it well and honestly they just need to tighten it up more it's already like the best platformer out there the best 2d platformer out there oh but they got brawl holla i mean like you know generally a wide 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 one the most known right all right i don't see a path where smash can be produced without myself this one is interesting. Sakurai has been working so long on the series. He's put his heart and soul into it. Many, 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 many hours dedicated. And, you know, years of his life. Um, you know, he's been in the... I think he's been in the hospital a couple times. Or, so, or was it him? Because he just worked so much on it. You know, he had, like, moments that where he, like, he had, like, work faints. You know, something like that. So, I, you know, personally, I don't mind if he takes rest. If he chills and hands it off to someone else and he's just a producer with small um, input here or there, that'd be amazing. That being said, Smash is his baby and he could want to have the drive to make another one in the future. He says he's done, but well, like, there you go. He cannot be produced without himself. So he should do it, honestly, in some capacity or another. If he completely just drops it, it's going to go in a direction he's probably going to regret. But if he has a say in the direction, he doesn't have to work himself to death. But if he goes, you know, if he helps out, if he helps out a lot, I think it could become a really good successor, whatever the next Smash game could be. Honestly, if we did try leaving it to someone else, oh, we did try, but it didn't go well. Well, there you go. Um, that being said, I don't know, just from this quote, how much input he had. But, you know, with it being said, he left it to someone else to try. It didn't go well. I wonder what he means by this specifically. Like maybe on some projects in Smash. Or maybe they worked on some projects that never came to fruition. Uh, but yeah, okay, that's interesting for him to say. If this series were to continue, I have to talk with Nintendo and have a debate on whether or not it will succeed or not. And I must think about this topic seriously. Once again, it's going to be a huge monumental undertaking 
to try to surpass this game. A sequel is always striving to be better than the previous games. To do this, the only way, the only way to make it on all cylinders, you know, firing better is they have to have more characters. And, you know, he sort of shot himself in the foot for making this game way too good. Way too good. Shot himself in the foot in a good way. With the, with the money gun. He shot himself with the freaking money gun. Um, so it's going to be so hard. Like, personally, I would like it if they took the roster down to maybe half half like maybe 25 percent of what it is now and build up again from there and have the most tight fun engaging gameplay that they can start with the regular roster and everyone that they still have access to all the rights to they can slowly release them again over time but they need to have a focus because if they come out with like 50 characters 60 characters from day one on this new one People are going to be like, oh, it's just not enough to smash. Because people are all, always going to look at numbers instead of overall quality for the most part. The general audience. It is not enough music from the last one. Not enough stages. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the, that's why I said. that the, If they have enough like left over, they probably don't. I bet like Banjo-Kazooie, you know, the Tekken characters, King of Fighter. I bet they were all like one-time things just for this game. So if they come out the new one. It's going to be interesting. Maybe Sonic's not in there anymore. You know, who knows? Ah, oh, man. Uh, he's also known for publishing his column bi-weekly in Famitsu. This is his final in the column. He wants to conceal himself for a little while. He is stated he is not at liberty to say what he will do or create. He continued by saying it may even better, even better if people end up forgetting about him. But he will not care. But he will be careful to not... Make sure him fade out out of this. Okay. <sighs> so yeah, he wants to take a break. 100%. Do it. He's proved himself. He is a gaming icon forever. Because this game is something no one's ever, ever done in terms of IP scope and bringing everyone together. You have all these characters. Like, you have Doom Guy in here. You know, albeit it's just a costume. But then you have Gino. You have, like, so much stuff yeah there's also the warner brother thing uh we, we looked at it last week we really did it was interesting i want to wait for more news before we like discuss about it and talk about it but it's very interesting <laughs> i would love it you get like harry potter you get like lord of the ring stuff and then you have like uh, cartoons so i can't wait for that more news hopefully it's true and you know it's quality but yes I think if people do start coming out with, you know, the Warner Brothers platformer, maybe the Nickelodeon one becomes even better over time. That's going to bring away some of the, you know, all the attention from this game, from Smash. So we'll see. Uh, so is Smash dead? Should it continue? We'll see. We'll see.